A fact came out of MIT a couple of years ago. Ken Hale, who's a linguist, said that of the 6,000 languages spoken on Earth right now, 3,000 aren't spoken by the children. So that in one generation, we're going to have our cultural diversity. He went on to say that every two weeks, an elder goes to the grave carrying the last spoken word of that culture. So an entire philosophy, um, a body of knowledge about the natural world that had been empirically gleaned over centuries goes away. And this happens every two weeks. for the mayor. My name is Elizabeth Utiapic. I'm the mayor of the city of Ichaluit. Ichaluit is the capital of a new territory called Nunavut, which became its own territory in 99. Up until this generation, all of the Inuit traditions and history were passed down orally. Nothing had been written down making their knowledge of the past invaluable. Oh, this is great. Great stuff. Great photography. Has the role of the elder changed from when you were growing up? Yes, I think so. It, it has changed. Elders were always play advisors to generation to generation. Advisors meaning that no one person makes a decision to survive. Everybody make the decision to survive. And one will be expert on the weather, one will be expert on uh, environment, one will be expert on uh, different kind of animals. So in our society today, in our generation today, it's hard to imagine how they were. I believe as Inuit, we're very happy with the very basics and it's about life experience that's brought us to where we are today. So one thing my mother always said was, never forget who you are. She went from living on the land to settling to a community and saw a lot of changes in a short time. But she reminded me that we will probably forever be changing, seeing change, but not to forget who we are. Another reason this group of elders is so special is the disproportionate age groups of Iqaluit. Factors such as lower infant mortality and improved healthcare have allowed the population to grow, but means more young people and fewer elders. All the more reason to now obtain their advice and unique perspective. What is the key to living a happy life? How has life changed today versus when you grew up? We have such a young population that our average age in Iqaluit, for example, is uh, 23 years old. We had a culture where it was all verbal, and the youth they acknowledge that, that they have to hear these stories, and I think it only helps them understand where their ancestors came from. Tradition, culture, history. The future can only be improved by knowing the past. 
Only 2% of the entire population of Iqaluit is age 65 or older. Responsibility now lies with today's generation to record and pass on the wisdom of the ages.